In today's video, we're going to look at applying transitions in PowerPoint. I currently have the first slide selected, and what we're going to do is go to the Transitions tab. And in our transitions to this slide group, I click the More drop down. I have quite a few transitions that I can apply to this slide. Each one's a little bit different. Let's go ahead and apply one of them to this presentation. So we'll select Airplane. And what we just saw was a preview of this transition. If I wanted to see that again, I could click preview. And it would do it again for me. While you're looking through a presentation, you can always identify the slides that have transitions with the little star below the slide number. That's an identifier that that slide has a transition. Now we selected the airplane transition, but we can make some changes to that by clicking the effect options. For this transition, it went to the right, but we could change it to the left. Each transition has different effect options, and you can change them by just clicking the effect options. Some other things that you should note is you can apply a sound. You can change the duration of the transition. If I click apply to all, that transition has now been applied to all of the slides within the presentation, and the settings that we have here are also carried over to those. I'm going to do Control Z on my keyboard just to undo that. For our advanced slide, we have on mouse click. So when I click, or you can do an after a specified time amount by just clicking the up and down arrows or typing in a number. When we were looking through the timings group, we can click apply to all. Not all situations require you to apply a transition to all slides. Maybe you only wanted to apply a transition to slides three and five. You can do that by selecting slide three. I'm going to hold control on my keyboard and select slide five. On the transitions tab, I'm going to go ahead and select wipe to apply that transition to those slots and only those slides. As my students are preparing for the certification, a question that they often ask me is if a question asks them to apply a transition between two slides, let's say three and four, they're not sure where the transition is applied. Should they do it to three? Should they do it to four? My advice to them on this, if they're not sure, is to apply it to one of the slides and then run the presentation. For example, I have this transition applied to slide three, but to see where it falls, is it going to apply from three to four or is it going to apply from two to three? What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on slide two and then I'm going to run my presentation to see how it falls when I advance it. I'm going to hit enter. And we can see that it applied between slide two and slide three. When I hit enter again, it just goes to the next slide. So if you're ever unsure, just run the presentation, see how it falls. If it doesn't fall where you want it, Select the none transition and then apply it to the other slide. 